This video was brought to you by Elbilmerk, a bedroom planner, storing by Ken Power and Bill Componenter. Yo, what's up? Today I'm going to show you guys how blistering fast the new Audi e-tron GT charges. It has the same charging cover as the new Porsche Taycan also. So, yeah, it's basically the same, those two cars. But yeah, let's roll the tape now. You see that um, off the line, the e-tron GT goes kind of slow. It ramps up a bit slow. We also include the old e-tron GT with smaller battery and also the G9. Yeah, why not the Chinese car and also an ION 6. So they're all 800 volt architecture. Wonderful. And uh, let me see, which car? Oh, ION 6 takes the lead. It's actually at 25% already. The other one, oh, but oh, now e-tron GT goes faster and faster. But you see that that 320 kilowatt is achieved later. It has a super flat curve but also insanely fast the g9 had also over 300 kilowatt initially but now it's already start dropping also the the old e-tron gt but well, couldn't even hit that speed and then ionic 6 can hit around 230 kilowatt only but look at that speed on the e-tron gt the new one it's almost two, uh, 320 kilowatt now insanely fast even at 50 percent almost it can maintain that speed wow let's kill the battery no, okay i'm just kidding they probably have pretty good cooling yeah i know it has cooling i already tested in deutschland but look at that speed it can maintain over 300 kilowatt until I don't know how much it was, 50, over 50, no, almost 60% maybe. It's there, 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 60%. Wow, that is some impressive shit. And right now, the e-tron GT is actually in the lead. 64%, but the old e-tron GT is slightly behind. But the Ionic, Ionic 6 is on the second place. Wow. And the G9 is on the third now. It's the slowest. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The Chinese is on the slowest. Uh-oh. Uh, let me see. But then, eventually, you will see that the e-tron GT got, gets um, a what, very nice and flat curve all the way to 80%. You can take 200 kilowatt at 75%. Stop cheating. That is insanely good. We've been charging for only 17 minutes here. What the heck, man? And we have, wait, come on. Okay, we're gonna hit 80%. There, 18 minutes. <laughs> <gasps> Incredible! The e-tron GT, well actually I, this is not the first win, we have to go to 90% first. But now, now it starts uh, falling down yeah, like crazy. So after 80%, blah, 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 it seems like uh, Audi, they have tuned the car to go really fast to 80% and then it just uh, uh, yeah, collapses pretty much. But still, uh, the new e-tron GT is still in the lead, but the other cars are kind of coming behind. Suddenly, the Ionic 6 is the slowest. The G9 had a nice and flat middle curve there, so it's uh, right behind the, the new GT now. And then the, the old e-tron is uh, kind of slow-ish. But which car is going to hit 90%? Well, right now, I get a feeling that the new e-tron will hit 90% first. But then the G9 is right behind it, because the G9 is actually charging pretty fast also. So, wow, this is so dead even. Really impressive with the Chinese that they can still maintain that flat curve. There we go. e tron GT uh, hit 90% first, but then G9 is going to be about one minute slower. Wow. Really impressive with Chinese car. And then what about Ionic 6 and e -tron G the old e -tron GT? Wow. Okay, they go kind of slow, so I'm um, not sure which one will finish to 90% here, but uh, also the new e -tron will just take the victory dance and go past 90%. But at, at one point, I stopped charging because I had to leave for the event. I was there for several days. The press car shuttle, I mean, the uh, airport shuttle was there. Okay, I only six. Okay, third place. Yes, and then the, the old e tron uh, GT was uh, slowest in this comparison. But wow, okay, and now we will just go also higher. And uh, I stopped the, the new e tron at uh, 95%, but you will see that uh, the G9 is really impressive it actually is in the lead right now and if we will go to 100 percent i think the g9 would win yeah it, it just charges so fast even past that point so it means that okay well okay you can go to 80 percent fast you can go to maybe 90 percent fast but the g9 can utilize the whole battery that's what matters right well actually is it uh but i mean it's still kind of slow uh, 23 kilowatt versus 300 kilowatt we had earlier yeah, but um, uh, I also want to show that uh, the e-tron, the old e-tron GT uh, is actually fun. No, okay, I stopped. Uh, I, it wasn't 94%, not 95%. I stopped the uh, clock. Um, yeah, um, when it goes to 100%, it's not that fast. So, uh, wow, the G9 is almost at 100% already. What the heck, man? Look at that. Look at that. Look at how fast the G9 is. I only 6 is on a good second. And then, uh, yeah, the old e-tron uh, goes really slow now towards the end. So, um at least that has been slightly improved, but uh, eventually, once I get the new e-tron in Norway, I will also test it to 100% to see how it goes, if that matters. Yeah, the G9 hit 100% already, wow. So at least the G9 got one point there. 
yeah. What a point. We and look at the charging curve here. You see that um, the e-tron, the new e-tron, ramps up quite slow. So uh, X Bank G9 is faster. Also, the old e-tron is faster. So it's a slight disadvantage that it goes like that. But it, look at that. It, there's nothing that can match the e-tron GT. Like over 300 kilowatt until almost 60 percent, and still past that point it's also above everything else wow so impressive stuff man and then what uh, what do we have here i only <laughs> i only six seems to be slow compared to all the other cars but you know this is kilowatt we are just comparing and the ionic six just happen to have the smallest battery but it still has that uh, korean siesta here <laughs> but yeah now you guys see it man I, I, I can't wait to test 1000 kilometer challenge but uh, the weird thing is, is that when I put all these numbers, you know, the, the 120 kilometers per hour range number and the charging time numbers in my spreadsheet, it spit out a time, right? And it was uh, 9 hours and 20 minutes or something. I was like, huh? Or 9.15 minutes. I think I'm 9.15. I was like, huh? 9.15? That's kind of weird because Tesla Model S, Palladium and Plaid, they can do it in less than 9 hours. Maybe it's because it ramps up so slow. I'm not sure what's up with this but okay we have to test this uh fast charging cars in practical they get better time than my spreadsheet so yeah soon enough hopefully uh, when it's not too freezing cold i'll be able to do 1000 kilometer challenge and some other good stuff i actually i forgot i have it booked in a couple of weeks i'm gonna already test it anyway i think that's gonna be it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later